Hello everyone, how are you doing? This is MD Tech here with another quick tutorial. Today I'm going to show you guys how to resolve if you're getting an issue saying that the file is too large for the destination file system. So in this brief tutorial I'll be showing you guys how to resolve this fairly quickly and we're going to jump right into it. And the first thing I want to point out is that what we're going to be doing today is going to remove any information that's stored on this external device. So if you have the ability to, you want to back up anything that's already on that device. So I'm just making that very clear because we're going to be formatting that disk or that drive. So we're going to jump into it and we're going to start by opening up the star menu by left clicking on it one time and then you want to type in this PC. Best match of concept should say this PC directly above the desktop app. You want to left click on that one time. And our problem is with our new volume E drive right here. So we're going to right click on whatever drive we're having the problems with. Then we're going to select format from the context menu. So you want to make sure the file system is set to NTFS default. Allocation unit size you can keep the same. Doesn't really matter. If you want to set it to default allocation size, it's fine as well. And you want to make sure the quick format is checkmarked here. And then you want to click on the start button right here. It'll say warning formatting will erase all data on the disk. To format the disk, click OK. Click on this OK button right here. And it shouldn't take too long. And it should say format complete. Click on OK. And now try and transfer whatever files or folders you were trying to put onto that disk or that drive earlier. And hopefully you should be able to transfer them without any problems. So I hope this brief tutorial was able to help you guys out. And as always, thank you for watching. And I will catch you in the next tutorial. Goodbye.